Welcome back to Velf Creations. Today, we're diving into the FL Sun T1 Pro Delta 3D printer. To kick things off, let's put this printer to the test with a classic print. Everyone's favorite, the Benchy. What's impressive is that this printer can complete it in just about 10 minutes. You'll see the entire print progress in the bottom corner of the screen as we walk through the unboxing, setup, and some of the projects we've tackled over the past week with this machine. We'd like to thank FL Sun for sending us the T1 Pro to try out. That said, we want to be clear. They had no input on this video and will be seeing it for the first time right alongside you. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about our unboxing and setup experience with the T1 Pro. Everything came nicely packaged with layers of protective styrofoam and was divided into three main parts, the base, the top, and the corner supports. Unfortunately, despite the box looking fine on the outside, we did notice some damage to the base. It turned out to be a crack in the plastic enclosure at the bottom back corner, most likely caused during shipping. Thankfully, it's purely cosmetic and doesn't affect the printer's functionality. We've seen some videos where people mentioned that setting up the printer took them about 15 minutes. For us, though, it was closer to 45 minutes. While the assembly process wasn't too difficult, it got us thinking. It would be great if there were a fully assembled option available. What about you? Let us know in the comments. Do you enjoy the hands-on experience of putting a 3D printer together? Or would you prefer to get up and running faster, even if it means paying a bit more for a pre-assembled option? Looking back at our experience, we really should have watched a setup video. It probably would have made things go smoother. Now, let's dive into what makes this printer unique. You may have noticed something different about the T1 Pro compared to popular printers from Bamboo Lab, Creality, and AnchorMake. That's because the T1 Pro is a Delta printer. Here's a quick breakdown of the main types of 3D printers. When compared to bed slingers and core XY printers, a few things stand out. Delta printers. Like the T1 Pro, use three vertical arms for smooth, fast movements. This mechanism also allows them to print at really high speeds, up to 1,000 millimeters per second. Which is mind-blowing. Just a reminder, the Benchy that is currently printing is 100% real-time. No time-lapse needed. The T1 runs on Clipper firmware and uses the FL Sun Slicer out of the box. However, you can also use other slicers like Orca, with some additional setup and custom profiles. There is also an included camera, which allows you to monitor your prints remotely. We'll take a closer look at that later in the video. With the printer fully set up and ready to go, it's time to plug in the power cable, flip the power switch, and fire up the FL Sun Slicer to kick off a new project. Over the past week, most of our projects have needed very minimal supports, so we decided to really put this printer to the test with a statue project that uses tree supports. The FL Sun Slicer has a familiar layout, similar to other slicers, making it easy to navigate. Once you've connected your printer to your computer or use the built-in Wi-Fi functionality, you can start prints directly from the software and even monitor progress with the built-in camera. This particular print will take just under an hour and a half, which is more than twice as fast as our Bamboo Lab P1S using the same settings. Let's send it to the printer and see how it does. By now, you might have noticed another interesting difference. The included textured PEI build plate is actually round, which sets it apart from many other printers. For all of our T1 Pro projects, we use this cool-looking matte Sunlu light yellow filament. FL Sun does offer a high-speed filament, but we didn't get a sample of that for this overview, so we were a bit concerned about print quality and bed adhesion. However, when we go over our projects, you'll see that standard PLA worked really well, with great results across the board. Now, let's talk about noise level. Since this is a high-speed printer, you can expect a bit more noise compared to slower models. The first layers are relatively quiet, but once it ramps up to full speed, the fans really kick in. It might not fully come across on camera, but we'll give you an idea of what it sounds like. Let's have a listen. <laughs>
And now, with the glass door closed. Overall, the noise level isn't too bad, but it's probably not a printer you'd want to run at night. While this is printing, let's take a look at the monitoring options available on both the computer and your phone. Within FL Sun Slicer, under the Device tab, you can access your webcam and adjust various settings. If you've used clipper printers before, this will all feel very familiar. You can also access the webcam feed through your browser, not just within the slicer itself. From here, you can review a history of your past prints and start new ones without having to upload the G-code again. One feature we wish was available is the option to lock the exposure. Sometimes it varies, and even though you can turn off the internal LEDs, having exposure locked would result in much better time lapses. There's also an app available called FL Sunworld, which lets you monitor your prints from your mobile device. This app gives you a range of control options, including adjusting print speed, viewing device information, managing multiple printers, homing the printer, and pausing or stopping prints in case of failures, all as long as you have an internet connection. The app also lets you view and download any print time lapses, provided you had that feature enabled during the print. Let's also take a quick look at the screen. Located at the bottom of the front side of the printer, it allows you to start prints, calibrate, control the machine, and adjust settings. We found it to be really easy to use and straightforward. One feature we really like is the ability to see thumbnails of your prints, which makes it super convenient to queue up multiple prints back to back. All right, now let's take a closer look at everything we've printed over the last few days with the T1 Pro. We'll start with this statue. As we remove it from the build plate and clean up the supports, we'll walk through some of the key takeaways and thoughts we gathered during our testing of the T1 Pro. First off, the speed is absolutely insane. Many of our prints that we previously did on the Bamboo Lab P1S were finished in about half the time on the T1 Pro. It's seriously impressive the first time you see it in action. This kind of speed is a game changer, especially for things like prototyping, where you need to quickly iterate and print one project after another. We've even seen entire print farms running solely on the T1 Pro, and users seem to love it. But, as they say, with great speed comes great responsibility. When we first heard about the T1 Pro's ability to hit 1,000 mm per second, we were pretty skeptical. How could a printer run that fast without facing any adhesion issues? We were concerned that we'd be burning through filament and dealing with failed prints because, honestly, how reliable could those speeds be? Luckily, we were wrong to worry. Including this statue and the Benchy, we did a total of 15 prints during our time with the T1 Pro, and every single one was successful. That absolutely blew our minds. Now, while it's a small batch of tests, it's definitely showing that the T1 Pro could be a very viable option for running a 3D printing business. With its speed and reliability, it's definitely something worth considering for those looking to scale their operations or just get their prints done in record time. Taking this jig as an example, it would have taken about an hour and 20 minutes to print on our Bamboo Lab P1S, but with the T1 Pro, the print time was greatly reduced. We would have loved to have this during our prototyping stages. It would have saved so much time. Another example, with something round like this exhaust adapter, we noticed that the quality was actually much better than what we've gotten on the Bamboo Lab. This is likely due to the higher speeds and smooth motion of the T1 Pro, which helped eliminate some of the imperfections and smoothed out the edges much better. While none of the prints failed, there were a few with visible layer lines. But the great thing is that, based on what we've seen online, there are options for calibration that can address these issues. With just a few tweaks, those visible lines would likely disappear entirely. Now, the Rook print was probably the closest we came to a failure. We scaled the original model by 300%, and even though we didn't use supports, the top bridging ended up a bit stringy. But honestly, this was no big deal, and the top surfaces still turned out looking really solid overall. It's a good reminder that while the T1 Pro's speed is impressive, Sometimes adjusting your settings or using supports can make a big difference in print quality. This M64 bolt and nut were a blast to print. The surfaces turned out smooth, and the threads worked perfectly without any binding. Now, let's take a quick break, because our Benchy is finished. 
For a sub 10 minute Benchy, we're really impressed. While there are some visible layer lines, it highlights just how effective the T1 Pro's cooling system is. There's minimal stringing, and overall this is a very solid result. We definitely printed worse Benchies that took three to five times longer. As we wrap up these last few projects, we want to take a moment to thank all of our amazing subscribers. Your support is what keeps this channel going and makes it possible for us to test out awesome machines like this. We couldn't do it without you. If you enjoy videos about laser engravers, 3D printers, or DTF printers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let us know in the comments what you think about the T1 Pro. If you'd like to support VELF Creations, consider using our affiliate links. You'll find a discount code and links for this printer, filament, and more in the video description. Thanks for being part of our journey. Finally, we wanted to push the T1 Pro with a more challenging project, a print-in-place articulating model. We found this awesome rattlesnake design, and it was the perfect choice. Once again, the T1 Pro delivered some truly impressive results. The detail on the scales looks fantastic, and every joint works flawlessly without any of them being fused together. That wraps up our video on the T1 Pro 3D printer. Overall, we had a fantastic experience with it and were blown away by its speed. The only downside we encountered was the damaged corner on arrival. It would be great to see stronger packaging or better support for the base in the future. We'd love to hear from you. If you already own this printer or are thinking about getting one, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.